Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Craig here from Video Juice and we are finally back with some more Legends of Tomorrow. We are on episode nine this time. Last time on Legends, now it has been a while. I, again, I apologize for the break. I had a lot of stuff going on, new studio, a lot of life stuff. I was in a cycling accident, which busted up my face. <laughs> um, and we got t-shirts done, more details on them soon. Yeah, we're finally back. Uh, I did do a small refresher in what happened last time because we had two episodes because we had the Last one was the crossover, Crisis on Our Decks, and then before that was the one that was like dedicated to a, an actual Legends one, whereas Crisis on Our Decks was a very contained story, even though it did have ripple effects to the rest of the DC, or to the rest of the Arrowverse. So last time in the crossover, we had Stein die. That was the big thing that happened in that, but the, the, the one before that, the last time was the, um, the jungle episode. We got to see Mick's father, which was very, very funny. I remember that. We had Grodd taking over the people there. Amaya ended up t talking down Grodd and communicating with him, with her um, with her totem. And uh, Jax saves the day without his powers. <laughs> it was a good episode. It was funny. Um, honestly, I just want to jump in and watch it because I'm really, really looking forward to this. Coming out of the crossover, this is the one I was most looking forward to just because of Stein died in it. I mean, it was a big character death and he was a main character on Legends. Granted, he's been on all the shows, but it's... I mean, Legends is going to be the one that is affected the most by this, I think. Um, I mean, they're all going to be affected. They all had uh, a big part of the crossover. The crossover did tackle individual storylines from each show, so there is going to be ripple effects throughout all of them, but I feel like a big character death is going to be the, is going to have the biggest effect. So I just really want to watch this episode, so I'm going to jump in, check it out, see what it's like, and discuss it afterwards. Let's do this. Tell me how many Bebos you have back there? Plenty. Don't worry about it. Uh, Actually, oh. we just ran out of them. You just said not to worry about it. Oh, the arrow music. Is he actually... This is a weird opening. Great stuff. What? Have a seat. Oh, we got Leo in this one. I thought he was going to go to Flash. Be careful. To Professor Martin Stein. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> New Valhalla. It's not even noon yet. You have a problem. <laughs> I don't have a problem. Now shut up. Oh my god, I'm so happy that Leo is there. I thought he was gonna go back and be like a side character that pops up every now and again and like flash or something. So happy he's staying with the legends. It's just like the final hurrah for Stein's character. I won that last mission with his past self. There's my pen. I can't find my spare. I haven't seen you since 1997. We still have our God. Bebo hungry. And our God hungry. What? Oh my God. So they have to steal their god. He's looking in the bottle. Oh, not alcoholic? You said your drinking wasn't a problem if you Dress up as Norse gods and order them to head back to Greenland. Or face our wrath. <laughs> no Incoming transmission from Asian Shop. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> they just bailed. Agent Sharp. It's been a while. December 25th, Bebo Day, when families exchange gifts and sing silly songs and the oh. they can no longer live under the same roof. <laughs> Right. 
No. <laughs> Devo day. To be honest, my team is still pretty raw from losing Stein. We could use an outside perspective. Oh! No. We're gonna get a temp okay. team up. Hell yeah! No, no booze means no booze, Mickey. Stop calling. Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Which of these clansmen are your husbands? And will kill them. Oh, I'm not really the husband kind. <laughs> oh! All right, you guys Sarah noticed that. that. <laughs> Mixed face, and they brought it in. We said this was an undercover operation. Well, knowing the cover is half the fun. Into the flames! Sharp is about to learn something from the way. <laughs> I la, la, love you. Next time he's going to. He's so damn huggable. Unhand him or die. Oh. I love that Bevo is just constantly laughing as this big, this big epic battle is going on. Oh, she got wrecked. <laughs> Mick. Oh, my God. I should have known. We got some doubt in summon anyway. That could be a seed for later on. <laughs> it's such a Damien thing to do as well. This letter is a loophole. Nothing changes until November 28, 2017. Please. Oh, is this gonna fuck everything up? It'd be cool if Stein had a happy ending okay. and he was out. But still alive and just out with his family. It's kind of what I wanted him. That's what I thought they were going for before the crossover. So this would be cool. But it, I think it would lessen the impact of the crossover a little bit. But I would be okay with that. <laughs> just because I wanted Stein to have a happy ending already. As soon as we return from the light. Good. Good. <laughs> He's so red. <laughs> oh, that exchange was great. Crystal, sir. Ever since Rip was sentenced to prison, oh, Rip is in prison. He was hardly convincing at the tribunal, raving about Mollus, completely unapologetic, and in his absence, Damien Dark has recruited even more allies. Gideon, can you pull up? The I need you guys to take the wave rider and leave. Not without you. What? You can't face Dark alone. No, she I cannot. She's got a plan. Oh, she's suited up. <laughs> the hair looks so bad. Leave now and I'll let you back. No. Hold up. Your plan sucks. Pretty right. Okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> that got me for a second. I love that they're like showing the plans, it's pretty cool. What's the matter? Performance anxiety? Oh! Fuck! Everything but the end. Yes. 
Oh, this is cool. I can't believe they're back together. <laughs> Look at this. Yes. Oh, this is epic. Oh, oh shit. What? I think I know why you're here. Come in. He threw the letter away, right? He threw it away. The letter. You never read it. That's what? because I already burned it. What? I was tempted. And yet I clearly lived a wonderful life with many chapters. And if I had one wish, it wouldn't be for me to prolong my life. It would be for you. To, to live. Yours. And to have... Damn, man. That's what Jacks needed, man. That's what he needed. You want to leave? You you can't leave, Jack. Oh, what? No, you're, you're I talked leave. about this. Yeah, and I always will be, but right now, I, this is something I got to do. I need a different kind. Oh, I wasn't prepared for this. I talked about it, but I thought he was going to try and do it without the powers. So they were building that up. Oh man, we're after losing two of them now. I suppose it gets rid of the what will Jax do without powers thing. But not like this. Oh! You really think we're just gonna let you sneak out of here without saying goodbye? I thought they were gonna end the episode there. <laughs> it's been a long time, look. What? John? Oh, that was a great episode. <laughs> the um, I, I missed Legends, man. I li missed Legends. It's one of my. It's probably my favorite show of the DC shows, um, the CW shows uh, currently in the Arrowverse. Honestly, it's just so fun, and it doesn't take itself too seriously. And this, like, it does have a good story, and it does have the deep moments. Like this episode was was mostly like just really silly, funny, goofy stuff. And then like the last ten minutes, it broke down into this. Heartfelt Stein story and then a heartfelt goodbye from Jax and it just It was great. It's and there's not a lot of shows that can pull off a, a tone change like that mid-episode so well and legends just do it like most of the time. It's 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 great. So The Jax stuff caught me by surprise because I didn't expect him to go at all like at least with the Stein thing we saw it coming they were setting up a storyline and it was ongoing and like, it looked like they slow-rolled his departure from the show. Now, granted, him dying was a bit of a shock because we thought that they were going to... Uh, we thought he was going to leave and, like, break the firestorm, leave, and then go home and have a happy ending with his family. So him dying was the shock. But him leaving the Legends wasn't really uh, a shock because they were building towards it. But um, didn't expect Jax to leave at all. That was... It was, it was bad. It makes sense. It makes sense, like the whole episode, he's been processing what happened with Stein and he hasn't been dealing with it. And for him to deal with it, he needs to leave and he, he needs to do something. And especially with, with, with what Stein said, both young and old, they wanted him to live a life, you know. Um, so he's, I, I assume he's going to go try and do that. Sad to see him go, but it makes sense, you know. Um, hopefully we get, hopefully he pops back up again, even if it's just a cameo or something. I, hopefully he's not gone for good. I'd like to see him, uh, I'd like to see a little cameo every now and again. Maybe. And then obviously the last fucking, <laughs> the last few minutes, Constantine. Such a great little surprise. Did not expect him. If, if he is, like, we, we saw him in Arrow already uh, and he was great in it. If he's, if he's joining the Legends full time, I'm just going to be the happiest person ever. I, I love Constantine. I love Matt Ryan as Constantine. You can see he has a real passion for playing him and just loves the character. And um, such a shame what happened to the show. I thought the show was decent. I don't think it got, um, it got enough, I don't think it got enough time to actually prove itself. But what was out there, with like the episodes they released were pretty good. So Legends is the perfect show for him as well. Like if they get him on full time, like they have two open seats now. We've no Stein, we've no Jax. I mean, there's two open seats there. Constantine would be the perfect, it's the, it's, it is the perfect show as well. Like with all the wacky stuff that's going on. 
and especially now that they're delving into the magic side of stuff with with what's what's going on with Morlus and like so the alternate dimensions and then we already have the multiverse and we have this he's a perfect person for this show i really really hope it's not a once off i hope it is a uh, uh him sticking around that'd be um that'd be great and leo is sticking around as well i didn't expect that like i had thought i don't know why but i naturally thought that he was just going to become a side character in the dc in the arrowverse kind of like he was before he joined the legends just kind of dare uh, uh, pop up every now and again for an episode and go off. I didn't expect him to be back properly. He's, he seems to be back properly anyway, unless it's for a limited run or something. But I'll take as much, <laughs> I'll take as much snart as I can. <laughs> him and him and him and make this episode were great. I love their new dynamic. It's like the old dynamic was great as well, but this, this new dynamic of uh, I know it's it seems to be not over, but the the shtick with this episode with Leo trying to like change Mick was good. But even just. Having, just having a good a good snart with an evil an evil um, Mick it's just so great so many funny possibilities the guy playing Stein I know we saw him already but just the, uh, he got he got it on, he, like he's on point with his uh, with his Stein uh, impersonation uh, I thought it was great like the way he pronounced words and everything and just the way he carried himself was, was really Stein you know it was just it was on point this might have been one of the goofiest episodes <laughs> of Legends. Now, Legend, Legends have had some goofy, like silly episodes. This might be the this might be the biggest. I don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. I thought it was fun. It was very very funny. All the Bebo stuff with the Vikings and the, the the gods and all that kind of stuff. It was it was it was fun. It worked well, but it was it was very goofy. <laughs> I mean, even on even for Legend standards, it was very very silly. Um, look, as I said, I loved it. Damien with the wig was just so funny. Uh, them impersonating Odin with the wig and everything was just so funny. And we even got a big cool battle as well, even though like the silliness and everything, but it was just so funny. It's such a Damien thing to do as well, you know? <laughs> and he seemed to be having fun with it. He slams down the staff and the lightning shoots out everywhere. It was pretty, pretty cool. Possibly one of my favorite uh, Legends moments ever was Young Stein shooting Bebo with the arrow and the arrow music kicks in it, oh man I just lost it that was so so good it was so good and all the Bebo stuff is just so funny like just just having him there was just hilarious like uh, when they were having the big battle and um, I can't remember who had him was it Nate or someone else was running through the battlefield and it, like it was all epic and everyone was fighting and just Bebo was just laughing because <laughs> he's like cuddling at it it's just laughing it's just so funny uh, they got a lot of mileage out of that. Showing the plans was brilliant as well. I, I I would have liked to have seen more variations of it and a bit more go a bit more like funny with it. Um, I mean like when they were devising the plan to go kill Damien Dark and they kept on they showed it and then Sarah got her neck snapped and it kept, it went through him. I would have liked to have seen a bit more of them and they could have went a bit funny with him. But other than that, it was it was great. I I enjoyed that. Oh, and Sharp joining in this um this episode was was great. I I, I like seeing more of her. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna we are gonna find out more and she is gonna become a more um a more I won't I won't say interesting character. She already is an interesting character, but we just don't know enough about her. So I have a feeling we're gonna learn more as it goes on. She she got a little bit more here. Um we found out that she is into women. <laughs> um we I had theorized it already that there was a lot of um sexual tension between her and Sarah, so it's been confirmed. So possible hookup in the future maybe. <laughs> that would be cool there. Um they seem like they they're, they're a good team <laughs> when they are a team. You know what I mean. I think I think they could um I think they could be a good pairing, both relationship wise and like fighting wise and team wise. I think they'd be a good um a good little team up. I think she'd be she'd be a good little addition to Legends, if she, even as like a, a temp member maybe. <laughs> so uh, just really on the mallest thing then, like if I can't remember if I noticed it before or if I said it in a previous reaction, as I said, it's been a while since I've done one, but I just noticed it was him doing the voice for Mawless this time. I fucking love John Noble. <laughs> he just has the best voice ever. Looking forward to hearing more of his voice. He has a perfect voice for what they're doing with Mawless at the moment. I did have a theory, which I don't know, I don't know how valid it is now. But I did have a theory, because Rip has been very, very lacking this season in terms of his appearances, like he had, just hasn't been here. And I had th I had theorised that could, like, could Rip become Mollus? Like, Rip being cast out, cast out, like, after, like, don't get me wrong, it was justified after everything he did. But Rip being cast out by his team, and being thrown in jail now, 
and just kind of on his own and broken and gone over stuff in his head over and over again. Like, it's not far-fetched to think he would go down this dark path and maybe his mind gets corrupted or just he just goes maybe like semi-insane or something after everything that happened. Or maybe there could be some outside influence. Maybe maybe something else corrupts him or something. But my, my theory was that he would eventually become Mawless. And like him trying to stop Morales, him, his obsession with stopping Morales would be funny because it'd be him trying to obsess with stopping himself. And his own obsession with stopping him himself would be what drove him to become the thing he has to stop in the first place. Do you know what I mean? I said it really weird, but I think that would be an interesting uh, story thread if they went down it. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know how valid it is that Rip would become him right now. Um, but I mean, the, the possibility is still there. Like Rip is still an integral part of this of this show like I thought they were writing him off but they brought him back and and he is still there and there's a reason he's still there so it, it, it could go that route but I don't feel as com I don't feel as confident as I did um before but I, I do think if they did that it would be very interesting it'd be weird with the time travel stuff though because how would the first rip become Mawless if it is him how would the first one become Mawless because there would be no Mawless for him to obsess over um, catching you know so th there's kind of a theory thing but it, it there's kind of a um, that's kind of a problem with my theory but there is like I mean it's, it's time travel and it's legend so time travel stuff does get a bit hooky especially when you have someone created because of someone else even though a timeline an original timeline wouldn't have that person there you know you, I'm saying it wrong but you know what, you know what I mean I'm saying it confusingly <laughs> um so yeah, I don't have a whole lot more. That's that's pretty much it. I liked the episode. So I had some of my favorite <laughs> legends moments ever. Uh, we lost Jax. That was a big, a big moment. Uh, very very sad over losing Jax. Hopefully he's not gone forever. Oh, even just cameos I want. Uh, we hopefully we might get Constantine instead though. Um, like it's not a equal trade off. Con Con Constantine is good, but Jax has been there since season one, and we know him. And we know how he works with the characters, but Constantine would be a good replacement. I want him. I don't want him for... Well, I, I'll take him for a one-off episode, but I do want him for more. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to be hoping for. So thank you very much for watching. Um, these reactions will be coming out more regularly now. I'm going to be catching up on my DC shows ASAP now that I have the studio done and I have everything set up. So you can check back during the week if you want to see more reactions and gaming videos. We have some social media links in the website address down below in the description. You can check them out. You can like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. Let us know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. And um, yeah... I think that's it then. We'll see you next time. Later. Pull me from the ashes so I could soothe your frightened mind and let our souls collide. Rising tide so we can ride away.